Yo, what's going on everybody? It is Jesser and today Chris is touching my nipples. Welcome to a cooking challenge today. We are doing the $50 versus $500 cooking challenge. The way this is gonna work is split you guys into two different teams. The teams are gonna be Mitchell and Zach, Chris and James. One team is gonna have $50, the other will have $500. I'm gonna give you guys an hour and 45 minutes to get the groceries from wherever you want, come back and create me a delicious meal and I'm gonna judge them. Obviously the $50 team, I'm gonna give them some leeway. So, Question. what's up? Hour 45 total? Total. Oh, okay. The $50 team is Zach and Mitchell. Now I'm giving you 100. 50 before tax. That's all we need. Why would the two worst get the 50? He's a trained chef. Two worst? You're saying Chris is better than you? He I has do James. Who's gonna do the cookie? Go wherever you want. We're getting scammed. We got 400 right here. Are you serious? Check the cameras. Hold on. There's one left. Yo, now we have three. What is this? Wow. Bad. Hope I'm not getting for that. What are we gonna make this kid? I don't know. What do you, what are you feeling? I feel like an hour and 45 is a long time. For 50 bucks, what can we actually cook? I mean, I think we could we can make a decent meal. What do you want to make them? What's your specialty? I can't really make anything. Alright, I guess we can go to that Erewhon marketplace. The super super expensive one. You're just gonna have to be my direction. Alright, right. directionally challenge. Oh. oh god. I've never been there before though, so I don't really know if they're gonna have like what the selection is like. Dude, they have five hundred dollars. Honestly, theirs might be even harder. They could make him a super expensive filet. Yeah, true. Some lobster tail. And they got James. We have a huge budget. I feel like we should probably go like nice cocktail, something clean, like a nice good salmon. What are you best at cooking, would you say? I'm pretty good at salmon and steak. We'll go salmon. I think okay. Jesse's a salmon fan. Is there any microwavable dishes I could take over? I feel like with our budget, that's a tall task. We should do a drink hold. I, I did a video like this and I lost because Jesse made a drink. Oh, that makes sense. We should just think about like what drink and what sides complement our salmon. All right. You're also a bartender now, I'm too, learning, so I'm learning. I think we're in good hands. What could you eat right now? What are you craving? Pizza. Should we make a pizza? You guys are probably get a steak, too, for pretty cheap. I feel like they're definitely going to get, like, the most expensive steak. This is honestly kind of a crazy food challenge because $50, like, that can make a very, very solid meal. And $500, I want an appetizer. I want a smoothie. I want a dessert. I want it all. I'm expecting, like, a multi-course meal from them. If they don't deliver that, I'm definitely going to be disappointed, especially since they have two people. One can work on the entree. One can work on the dessert. You know what I'm saying? I have very high expectations from the boys for this video. I'm going to be starting to do a new thing. I'm going to be shouting you guys out in the video. So right now, comment your favorite food down below. Hit the like button and subscribe, and I'm gonna shout out three of you from the comments in my next video. Yeah, y'all saw my video did well, and you said, let's do the exact same thing. Let's do it. That's how we do it, baby. You better stop. <laughs> we got $500, man. We're big ballers over here. We have made it to Vaughn. Yeah, it was either this or Aldi. You guys know what that is. I don't. So you've never had to struggle. My struggle was my parents wouldn't let me get Lunchable. I'm gonna just do the dishes, give them some space. Should we just make them a... We could, bro. I mean, that's cooking. You have to cook it. How much cooking do we have to do? You know? We can even make them a salad. We should get three different frozen meals like this and make them like the Italian trio. Ooh. Like chicken, parmesan, lasagna, and then Alfredo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You drive the boat, Jane. I'm gonna grab some onions. See, I'm just here so I don't get fined. Grab some mint. I was just thinking that. Hundred dollar olive oil. Oh yeah, we got a splurge on the olive oil. This is good. This. Yeah, this is kind of tiny for ten bucks. We have a five hundred dollar budget. Yeah. Yeah, we're going bougie today. Oh, you know what we could do? Half of this right here, and then we could like smush it down. And then we put half on the bottom. And we put Oreos in the middle. And then we put half on top. And maybe like, should we get peanut butter or Nutella? Does he like peanut butter and Nutella? What about just like Hershey's chocolate bar? That would like, run everywhere. Well, let's do middle. Nutella because I don't know. I've never seen them eat peanut butter. Give them thick Oreos. You see lemons anywhere? Lemons. Oh, lemons. Okay. What are we gonna do for our sides? Like with salmon, I love rice. rice. Honestly, you could dress up the rice with some nice sauce. Please. What sauce do you like with your rice, dude? I get the hot sauce. Sauce with garlic butter. Yeah. Garlic butter is fine. All right, we can do that. They have some bougie garlic bread butter, bro. Bro, let's get it. That's, That's just gonna slap. Oh, we need ice cream. Vanilla and chocolate. Fire dessert. Garlic bread. Ooh, we have to get hundred, garlic bread, bro. Dude, there's cuts of steak back there if you're doing surf and turf. Are we doing Are surf we doing and turf? Full surf and turf. I mean, with five hundred dollars. Yeah, we gotta use our budget. Well, I want to see if they have a butcher section first. Oh, here's chicken parmesan. These are two for four. One of these. A six cheese lasagna. It's only four bucks, bro. And then we need one more. Is it fettuccine or a chicken pesto? Oh yeah. Perfect. On a budget, baby. I don't know if they have a butcher section. Maybe it's so good that it's in the fridge. Did they not have it over there? It looked like all their package stuff was over there. No. Nah, we, we gotta get it fresh if we're going we to got, Should we just go back to Vaughn's? Should we buy this and go to Vaughn's? So what do we need to buy at Vaughn's? We'll need to buy our rice, our steak, and our 
salmon. Salmon. You're buying your steak at Vaughn? I mean, we could go to Bristol. That's gonna take time. But the thing is, we're still gonna have over an hour, I feel like. You wanna just see what's over there? Oh, we could, yeah. It's gonna be good, but it won't be the same. I mean, I'm sure the salmon will be great. We could get the salmon. Just do it here? Save yeah. time? Yeah. Save time. Should we like stop at a store to get like utensils? Just utensils. in case, just to be safe. Are you not gonna talk about how we had to stop recording with a $500 budget? Hey, it's fine. We're about to go to Vaughn and uh, get the rest of these ingredients. Should we get them like an Italian soda? Oh, that boy loves lemonade. It's sparkling too. All right. We just do one of these. Yeah. You know, there's a chance ours might taste better than theirs. That looks fancy. It's only four bucks. Which one would we use? Should we rock with it? What do you think? Good. I think we're good, right? Is that good? It's gotta be good, right? So we spent $39 today. It was. 47 but they gave us a discount because swag We're definitely inside budget and you know we have a good chance of winning today is that crit so. that's them my favorite youtubers this is a 46 dollar pan we have the budget we have the budget i just want some steak sauce man bro i just know i need mixing bowls and i don't think any are really clean at jesse's house i want to get a nice knife there is no good knives at jesse's house but i don't see any it's been about 38 minutes none of them are back i'm gonna facetime them see how their progress is going how's it going you get some good food oh Dude, your guys' budget was way less, so you guys are gonna have so much leeway. I hope you know the other team, I'm expecting like appetizer, maybe even a dessert. Am I gonna be happy? You're hey. gonna be happy, bro. We'll get you happy and more. Happy and a little bit after? Off camera. How far away are you? Like three minutes, maybe even two. Okay, bet, I'll see you we soon. We literally just did. saw the other group go into the store. We left as they were entering. Oh my God. Okay, you guys are chilling then. Best of luck to you, I'll see you soon. All right, we'll see you in a minute. I like the sound of that. Then I'm gonna get a little more than what I'm expecting. Let's FaceTime James, check in with him. Mitchell did say they just ran into the store. He's not picking up my FaceTime. Let's call his teammate, Christopher London. Team Jai Don, Jai London, both of them didn't answer me. A little disappointed from them. They have the bigger budget, and it sounds like they're struggling a little bit. I found the steak sauce. This is different. I haven't had okay. this, but I feel like that it's gonna be good. good. Smoky black pepper sauce and HP. Proper British. Put a little London Christopher Todd. Do you know? HP proper British. It's a good commercial. You know, you know. Ain't no one can know. Grab the butter, James. He's gonna grab the butter. I'm gonna grab the small. Some more what? Some more of this. Don't put that in there. Oh, that sun is beaming on me. I need to put the camera on my face so I can actually see. I'm waiting for the boys' arrival. I'm excited. I'm hungry. Mitchell and Zach, I'll see you soon. Sheesh, look at my legs, bro. They look kind of, they look actually kind of messed up. That's kind of scary. But yeah, get a good little ankle stretch going. Yes, sir. I've been expecting you. I wonder if they even saw me. I don't think they saw me. Let's see if they look at me even. I really think they didn't see me. No way. They really didn't see me. I've been expecting you. What the hell? Welcome. I'm ready for how good this is about to be. I am excited. Let's see what do we have. 1, 20, 40, 60, 85, 95. James, we got 195 left. Do you think what I'm thinking? Split it? Which one 95 divided by two? Is that 80? Let's head home. Let's cook up this gourmet meal and tell them we spent it all. Hey! Hey! What the f Yo, Yo, let me go, yeah. bro. Relax, woman. Dirt bag. <laughs> Uh, I do have a sweet tooth, so I do love what I'm seeing right now. Oh, we know. We're pandering to the sweet tooth. Y'all know what you're doing, man. <laughs> Dude, I love being the judge because everyone is so nice to me. Good change of pace. <laughs> this one. <laughs> We're gonna FaceTime James, see where he's at. Yo. Where are you guys at? Pulling in. Oh, you're, in. you're pulling up? All right, I'm excited. Oh, you're right here, right here. Yeah, we're like right here. Should I be excited? Oh, yeah. How much time do we have? You got about 55 minutes. Oh, open the gate, open the gate. I didn't close the gate. Open the gate. All right, I'll open it, I'll open it. I sabotage them. They don't need to know. They're gonna be mad at the other team. I'm creating turmoil in the kitchen for my own entertainment. I wanna see them yell at each other. My boys are pulling up. Hey, the other team's been here for a minute now. What do they have to buy? Like, they don't really have much <laughs> budget. We took out the whole store. Okay, okay. And I want some appetizers, two dessert. Stores. Two stores? We even got notice. We got mob. That slowed us down, bro. You guys got mob? Hey, that's what happened to the other team, too. That's what they told me. That's cap. <laughs> They're locking. <lying. laughs> you guys have like 15 minutes exactly. We'll leave the rest for Jason for later tonight. You cut these like this? Or maybe like this? Oh, can you get rid of the seeds? You guys want to give me any hints on what you're making or is it going to be a surprise? It'll be a surprise. It'll be a surprise. All right. I won't give you a surprise. Oh, this is going to be wonderful. I don't think you lose much. I see how the Zachary's got a little microwave game. So satisfying. It's looking like a great homemade salad. Oh, tomatoes. Forgot about the tomatoes. Bounce pad. Just, uh, and one. 
Alright, we got our butter. Wait, where's our Chrissy Here we go. Put that boil in there. Yeah, There's gonna be some really good onions, aren't there? Hopefully. A little low on time for the onions, but everything else we're trying. Never... It's like I have a friend. What are you doing over here? You know, I finished oh. what I can do with the salad right now. I don't want to get too ahead of myself. So, Zach put you on the salad job? Yeah. James said I'm in charge of the rice. I might have added a little too much butter, but it's cool. James, what you think about the butter, man? It looks good. That's a lot of butter, but it still tastes really good. Are you guys making like a bizarre lasagna? Maybe. Where did you go to the shop? Lasagna station. Right. What store did you go to shop? Bonds. Bonds? I mean, that's what that all we do go to. But you know, we're so far ahead of the other team that we need to slow ourselves down. And then we just got stuff in the oven. I cut up everything in here. You think you're gonna finish early? I think we're gonna sort of drag it out so we finish right there so it's still. Alive. What was most of the money spent on? Food. Oh, man. Y'all got microwavable meal? This is my meal break. Oh, okay. I was like, I just thought that was the route you guys had to resort to, but. Wait, did you, are you, did you just take our garlic? What are you talking about? Bro, y'all are big chilling. Oh yeah. Dude, I mean, I think they're doing a little surf and turf and kind of action. That's pretty intimidating, in my opinion. Not to me. You got bubbling. Come on, boil up, boy. It's gonna be the best rice I've ever made. Then we're gonna fuse my sides with his main entree. How's the salad coming, man? You know, it's doing its thing. Dude's a clownfish, bro. <laughs> like the joke. Thanks. <laughs> you toss your salad? Yeah. May or may not have added a little. I thought it was one cup, and it says one tablespoon. It's fine. It'll taste better. All right, taking a lap around the kitchen. Y'all got 35 minutes. Grass-fed beef jerky. Damn, it's almost all gone. I feel like they're just snacking on that. I love lemon. Marshmallows. <gasps> I see s'mores ingredients. We like that. We like that very, very much. Okay, what you working on? Um, see, what I'm doing is concocting a lot of uh, onions and garlic. Then okay. we got the rice with uh, garlic butter. Ooh. No microwave today? No microwave today. Not for you. I'm not right. special enough. No. Well, you are. I so, really so many bones. He's deep so bones. bones in it. <laughs> Fresh. Buy salmon with bones in it. <laughs> Where you bite, just. Hey, you know what? It's Chef Giant out. I trust it. Gordon Ramsay's apprentice. Looks like a donut to me. <laughs> you fucking donut. That does not look like rice, bro. It's a different kind of rice. It's a $500 rice, sir. You wouldn't know about that. You couldn't. What's going on? Please. Why is it bubbling? No, take a whiff. No, good. the whiff does smell good. The whiff? This is our garlic bread, bro. Literally not. It's our garlic onion. I don't know how candy. rice is supposed to look, but I don't know if don't it's supposed to bubble. It. Have you seen $500 rice? I've never had okay, $500 rice. Okay, well then rice. don't question. Looks like it's bubbling to me. A boil is a form of bubblation. Bubblation? Don't question it. Are you baking or cooking? Both. Okay. Bubbling. Yeah, we start saying bubbling. <laughs> it's boiling. <laughs> Soap in this? <laughs> Make it soap rice. <laughs> hey, that <laughs> look clean though. <laughs> Maybe I'll put some more in, Chris. So Mitchell, with the price of these, you don't think you could have got like fresh pasta? There's three different types of pasta, bro. That's literally thirty bucks. <laughs> this was thirty bucks. No, $30. no, we would have got fresh. What kind of f***ing noodles you get? Yeah, <laughs> I feel like y'all took like, a lazy route. Trust, exactly. just, just trust. It may not be in the microwave, but it's for the microwave. Listen, bubble boy. Good stuff, James. You getting hungry? Oh yeah, it's game time, baby. It's f***ing game time. Hey, that looked like the battle pass. Microwave bean, baby. Are you getting nervous? Nah, fully confident. What are we rocking with? A dub? Oh yeah, marshmallows explode in the microwave. Ah, that didn't work as planned. Ten minutes remaining, chefs. I'm gonna do my final walkthrough. Hey, that dessert, that thing looks busted. Oh my god, James. I like what I'm seeing from you. The smells in here are immaculate. I'm so far, dude. Yeah. Oh, we got their garlic bread? If it's good, it's good. That's all I'm gonna say. Chris, what you working with right now? Microwave gang is here. This is a big moment. Big moment. <laughs> I'm gonna let you work on that. We got 10 minutes left. Right now, that doesn't look like a $500 dessert. 
I've changed my fit. I feel like I'm at a five-star restaurant. All the food looks so good. You know, I feel like I had to up my game and match the food. It's about to be delicious. Stop! Don't show the sock. I'm actually very, very excited for this. This is honestly already one of my favorite videos I've done. There's only four minutes left. All the food must be plated. If I'm plated, I'm not eating it. Jesus. Oh, that's it. Chef, one minute remaining. All food must be plated when the timer runs. Timer is up. Hands up. Very excited to try this food. These look very beautiful. Team Chris James, please explain your dish. Well, good sir. We, um, so what we did here is we conducted a $300 meal with a $100 tip for the, um, cookers. <laughs> we got, you know, a nice ribeye. Wait, $100 tip? We're not done explaining so, the meal. We have a nice expensive ribeye with a homemade steak sauce on the side, a little bit on the steak as well. Caramelized onions, blackened salmon, and rice with caviar. Is there anything to parch my throat? No. We assumed you came prepared. This is your a house. meal. Mitchell and Zach, please explain your dish. All right, so basically we have an Italian trio, old fashioned Italian trio. We got the lasagna, we got the chicken pesto pasta, and we also have the chicken parmesan. And then we have a- um, Homemade. Homemade. M&M &M mini chocolate chip Oreo Pazuki. I'm very excited for that. Black and white ice cream on the top because we're black and white. Yup. You know what I'm saying? Like an old fashioned down home, hometown, down to earth. From the ground, not on the ground because it's clean. Italian salad. Yes, sir. And then, <laughs> we ain't done yet. In case your mouth's dry from that dry ass salmon right there. We also have a berry sparkling lemonade. I'm gonna go with this one first. Now, I usually order my steaks medium, but I am down to try this more rare steak. And it, honestly, this is one of the most beautiful plates that's ever been served to me, so I'm very excited. We're gonna try out the steak. All right. Bro, that was God tier. Thank you, Chef James. Thank you. But Jane, these are really good caramelized onions. It might be a little too strong though. I'm gonna take one of the middle pieces of steak. I recently went out to a very nice steakhouse. This steak is better. I've yet to have a steakhouse better than mine. We're gonna move on to the salmon. Okay. What's up with the skin? Am I eating it? You're gonna eat the skin. The skin is the best part. I'm used to salmon that's cooked a little bit more, but it is, it is good. Very moist, right? It actually is extremely moist. What is on top of my rice? Caviar. What is cap? I don't even know. Fish that's eggs. Okay. Fish okay. eggs, man. Fish eggs. that didn't get the chance to live. Top of the line rice. The rice is the most moist thing on here. That's not necessarily a good thing. No, but it's surf and turf. I want to make sure you're surf. Let me go on to the dessert. $500 budget. I was hoping for something a little fancier than a s'more. We figured the dessert like is the afterthought because look at all the food you're getting on yeah. that main plate. I don't really like it too much. I wish I had more marshmallow. I don't like the two different types of chocolate. But overall, stellar. Jill will sit. You're going to need it. Dry ass food. You like that? I do like that. Little croutons in there too. Salad's so good. Just a good normal salad. It's nothing too amazing though. Not wowing me, but it's good. All right. So how come you guys chose to do three different types of pasta? It's Italian trio. Let's start out with this one. Make sure you like one of them, I guess. It's kind of mid. Let me try the chicken. The chicken's good. Moist. I wish it was a little more tender. But it's fine. Honestly, I've been really excited for your garlic bread. Dude. Yeah. Let me try this bad boy. It's a great crunch. This garlic bread is hidden. All right. Let me try the lasagna. Like, the lasagna is a little mid. You try the chicken part. That is one of my favorite types of pasta, so I am excited that you guys got that one. Yes, sir. You already know. Man, the noodles don't look moist at all. It's mid. Though, I have a very, very sweet tooth. This <laughs> yeah. looks crazy. So, chocolate chip M&M mini cookie on the bottom layer. Oreos in the middle. More chocolate chip cookie on top. And then we have a vanilla bean and a milk God. chocolate ice cream. Look at that. Holy sh**. That is one of the most delicious things I've ever put in my mouth. Holy, I need to go for another bite. I don't even care that there's ice cream. I'm lactose, but I usually don't eat ice cream, but this is Jesus level of good. Just slobbing on it. Mind your own business. Can you guys go in the other room? Yeah. I'm gonna decide a winner right now. Obviously, $500. This was the better meal, hands down, but $500. Now, the dessert 
I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty disappointed in. Which is a little saddening. They also did have an appetizer. This steak, I swear to God, like I went to a steakhouse recently, this was better. Salmon was delicious, it was moist, the skin was good. Oh, this entire plate right here, except for the moist rice, just 10 out of 10. Now, I'm honestly heavily disappointed in this plate. They just bought heat up pastas, which did disappoint me. I wish they kind of made some more fresh ingredients. I'm not a big salad guy, but I do like that they had a drink. With the budget, it's so hard to say. Honestly, this dessert might possibly be one of the greatest desserts I've ever had in my life. That's the biggest selling point right here. The rest, it's okay, but that dessert, oh my God. And then this dessert, it's so hard to say. Because obviously, bigger budget, I'm definitely taking that into account. They couldn't get, you know, the higher quality ingredients. Chefs. You both did an absolutely wonderful job. Some of the best food I've had my entire life, to be honest. Some of the best desserts, best entrees. But at the end of the day, first place is gonna be going to the $500 team. Yes! Let me explain. You guys did a fantastic job. I was just a little disappointed with the entree. I wish there was a more creative job than heating it up and just putting it all together. Your dessert gave you so many points. Hands down, one of the best desserts I've had in my life, but also one of the best steaks I've had in my life. Ladies and gentlemen, fantastic job. I do appreciate it. Good game. You guys did an amazing job. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to check out everyone who was in the video. Down below, everyone's been making bangers. We did hella group videos today. Check out two other videos. Pop up. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy and peace.